Hello, is this working? Okay. Oh yeah, well welcome to the inaugural concert of our 25th season. It's so exciting to be here, see all your friendly faces. Mostly friendly, I think mostly friendly faces here. So those of you who are new to pieces, I do talk in between the pieces, so apologize in advance if you're giving you something you're not expecting, but hopefully you'll, you'll get some good background with the music, maybe a couple of laughs. Now, now 25th season is actually a really important milestone for us, and uh, it's an interesting one. We were talking with some musicians about what is interesting about 25th, and, and what's uh, possible here now is that we now have musicians that are born after PSSO started. <laughs> Kind of mind blowing. So I, I, I do want to do a little experiment here uh, for the kids and musicians. How many of you, by show of hands, uh, were born year 2000 or later? Can I just see a show of hands? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, yeah, the youngsters. Yes. I want to play a game, and you can play along too, but this directed that day. Now, now, those of you who are really know this uh, game show called Name That Tune. And it's, yeah, the way it works is, uh, you know, play a little bit of a tune and you have to figure out what the song is. It's, it's, I think it's quite, quite old. And, and you can play, show that. How many of you are born 2000 or later? Can I just see a show of hands? And, yeah. All of you TikTokers, I see. Okay, so, okay. So this is a game. See, see who can get this, okay? I'm going to put on the mic here. What got us here to 25 seasons is uh, the musicians. And so really, I see it as a celebration of musicians. I chose a bunch of music this season that highlights uh, all the capabilities of musicians. And you saw from this last piece, pretty hard, lots of notes, right? So really just putting a lot of stress and, and pressure on them this season. That's pretty much what's going on this, 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 uh, this piece. <laughs> Uh, and you'll hear the next two pieces, both uh, this next one and the, the Brahms, there are individuals who really get highlighted, and I want you to hear that. Now, this next piece, Strauss, I need to preface, uh, those of you who are kids, uh, I'm going to tell you the story about Teleuenspiegel, and he is not a role model, okay, let me just, <laughs> not so I'm going to tell you the story, you know, don't be like him, parents, I'm just doing that disclaimer here. So Teleuenspiegel, he's basically a prankster. Okay, and when you hear the opening of the piece, you'll hear this, it's a story of a prankster. It's kind of this once upon a time sort of thing. And you'll hear the introduction of Till through the horn solo. Uh, and, and that's sort of introducing this, this guy. Uh, it's really, though, his prankster motif is this little uh, drop figure. Da -da 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 -da. And you'll hear it most specifically played by the piccolo clarinet. Now, I want to... Uh, do just to show it to uh, uh, Katie, uh, if you could stand and just show your regular clarinet first. So she'll so hold that up. That's right. and, and then, same way, you can show your clarinet. Because this is. And it's a. a so. <laughs> well, it's amazing the way they make that is they put the regular clarinet out in the sun and they let it <laughs> shrink like a grape to a raisin. Like Amarone wine. Whether you have Amarone wine, that's, that's what happens. Amazing process how they make that. So listen for that piccolo clarinet. Now, the story starts with him actually getting on a horse and causing a bunch of ruckus in the market. Uh, you can, you'll can you hear sort of this galloping figure, bump, 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 and all these things. You know, imagine a horse riding through Costco and all the chaos that would cause, right? <laughs> Think about that. And then it then, uh, shifts into um, the clergy expressed by the violas and him 
poking fun at the clergy. And so you heard that little figure, boy, yum, bum, 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 bum. Uh, quite, quite interesting there. And then it flows into him. Uh, he, he, he does have a thing for, for the ladies, and so he kind of flirts and chases some girls. You'll hear this sort of uh, lovely theme played by the violins. It kind of has this uh, sort of romantic sort of thing. And then it flips into the intellectuals, played by the bassoons, ironically. Um, <laughs> I, I, I said that during rehearsal too. So. <laughs> so they're, they're used to that joke, so I gotta share that with you. Uh, but you'll, you'll, you'll have ba, 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 ba. and this whole intellectual section, I do need to preface that he writes in uh, a whole bunch of basically what sound like incorrect entrances. So this section will sound incorrect. I just want to let you know that's, that's probably okay. We worked very hard for it. If it sounds like everything's lining up, we're probably messing up. Okay, so just so you, know, you want to hear that section like, oh wow, that person came in wrong. Good for you. Okay. That, that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of the effect you want to hear of that. Uh, winds back and somehow uh, he finds, he's like Indiana Jones. He has his horse again. Um, so he gets back on the horse, does more chaos, but then the authorities catch him. And you'll hear this big chord coming in from the brass. Da, da, da. He's basically on trial in the gallows. Uh, basically, you know, the, this, this thing, right? <laughs> this is before you had states that didn't, didn't have capital punishment and stuff, right? So pretty much this. And so he's on the, on the, the platform, and you'll hear Till trying to sort of plead with the executioner, don't kill me, don't kill me, but doesn't work. Uh, Da, 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 da. You'll hear this one sort of wail as he falls down, and then the, I, I know, this is a rated R concert. <laughs> There's some death in this. Uh, yeah, he falls, and then you'll hear the pits, and then you'll, bloop, that's his neck. So I just, sorry, sorry. Give you that imagery. So he died, but then you'll hear the once upon a time theme come back, and it'll end with the till theme, saying basically his spirit can't be quashed, he's still out there destroying Costco. So, um, <laughs> what's, the, what's the, 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 the moral of this song? I do have a couple. So kids, A, study, do your homework, don't be like Till, that's one thing, right? The next is, what, what, what did they accuse him of? It was, of course, the blasphemy. It was making fun of the clergy. That's why he got you know, convicted. So the real moral of the story is, don't make fun of the old. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real story. So hope you enjoy it, Tolan's piece.